All right, so here we go. KNS, not KNS, um, Evolution Weapon System uh, with the adjustable gas key. Let's see if this guy works. I think he's totally turned off, so this should not, this should fire, this should not cycle. Should. Let's see. Yeah, loud, did not cycle, but we knew that was going to happen. Start the long, arduous process of adjusting an adjustable gas key. Just so we all know what we're talking about here, this is an adjustable gas key. So this is the bolt carrier group, right? Usually you have, I mean, it has springs and stuff that come out the back for this guy. But the key, this piece right here, uh, one of these bolts sheared off, right? So we had to, uh, to replace this entire key. And so this is an adjustable gas key to where you have a screw and a set screw right in here. And that goes down and it blocks the 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 pathway where the gas travels. So in essence, it turns the gas key into an adjustable gas key to regulate the gas that is allowed into the carrier, right? There will be gas that comes back and hits uh, the key itself, uh, but the gas that is allowed to go back into the system to run the system, that is regulated. A lot of times people adjust it at the, at the gas block, and sometimes people adjust it in different ways, shapes and forms and stuff, but th th that is generally the way that people do it, is at the gas block, this is the gas key. So we'll see if this actually makes any difference. So we, pull I don't know. So we'll see what happens. We'll put this guy back in and see if it works. All right, so here we go. We have one round in the gun, empty magazine. We just want to make sure, we're, we want to try to tune it possibly so that it will lock open on an empty magazine. That's what you should do. So we'll try to do that. Let's see. All right, so there you go. Pulled it back a little bit. I don't think it ejected though. Nope, did not eject. Nope, so open it up a little bit more. All right, one round. Okay, that guy did eject, didn't hold open, so we're getting there. All right, continued trouble with that first round, not wanting to seat properly. I still don't get it, I still don't get it. Needs a forward assist on here. Anyway, one round, open it up a little bit more. And it held open. So that's where we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna set, put the set screw in here, and hopefully this is it. Hopefully that'll actually fix that problem. All right, so here we go. We got a magazine in here, um, I don't know, 25-ish rounds, something like that. We'll shoot some, actually let's make sure this works without a suppressor. Uh, probably won't, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, let's just go for it. No, that's a dead trigger right there. So without a suppressor, it's a no-go. <clears throat> With a suppressor, though, which is generally how I run these things anyway, um, let's see if that guy works. <clears throat> With a suppressor. Well, see, now it's not one to work. See what's up with that. Can't I can't win for losing. <sighs> Get everything all put to, back together. Yeah, empty round. Empty round, spent case, whatever you want to call it. What is up with that? Come on. Still not one to chamber, dadgummit. Good grief. All right, will this one round lock open all by itself? Is that the problem? No, and it didn't even eject. It's a quandary, guys, it's a quandary, and I don't get it, and I don't understand it. All right, let's open it up a little bit more. Thought we had it. All right, perhaps when I put the set screw back in, it just tightened everything down. It could be my fault, it could be. It's not out of the realm of possibilities. Let's see. Okay, so now it's fine. Now that's fine. Well, sometimes it's fine until it decides it just wants to cough and not work. All right, let's see if it'll, uh, let's see if it'll hold open on an empty magazine. Got one round in there. Empty magazine, all right? Ooh, felt a concussion off that. It's been a while since I just shot a naked break. Nope, didn't hold open. That's what I wanted to do. It needs to hold open unsuppressed. So let's tune it up a little bit more. All right, one round, empty magazine. All right, cycled. All right, 
17th time's a charm. Hey, maybe it was. Maybe we finally have something that works. It didn't hold open on the last round that time. Or that time. Let's see if it does this time. No. All right, that's about as much as I can adjust it. I can't really go much further than that. Um, the set screw's already hanging out. Still does this dang thing. If this guy had a forward assist, it'd be so nice. It goes 90% of the way into battery. But in that last little bit, dude, it just doesn't want to go. Um, so many times, it's so frustrating. And if you dropped the hammer, nothing would happen. Mm, Dad gummit. So anyway, we're gonna close it at that. I don't think this guy's gonna run right today. I got some other projects and stuff to work on and I'm a little bit pressed for time. So the adjustable gas key for now is just gonna have to stay as a work in progress. Um, the adjustable gas block, however, on our 300 blackout, that guy's running great. So this system, it, the evolution weapon system specifically, it, it it's, it's not as easy as a plug and play, just throw it in your system and it's gonna run. I can't say that, I can't. I wish I could, but I can't say that. I think, I think a big portion of that is that it's such a small company, it's so hard to put out uh, enough parts, enough pieces out there for the masses to use it long enough to find the problems and find the things. They don't have the R&D time, apparently, um, or maybe even resources to fully go all the way around and figure out all the problems spend millions of dollars on you know all the ammo you would need and all the time and you know paying people to do stuff i can understand why there's still some issues the fact that it's running as well as it does which sounds like an oxymoron not an oxymoron sounds kind of dumb um in its in its different areas we've taken this guy outside of its wheelhouse running it with um super short of gas systems unregulated and it ran until we broke pieces right so we've done stuff we we have tested this thing and we've pushed it beyond its limit now we're trying to reel it back a little bit does that make sense i kind of talked in a weird circle there um, and i'm not really trying to give them an excuse right because i think that's just stupid to find a company that has a product that's trying to do something in ingenuitively um, something something different. They're trying to do something different and they have some problems. I'm not just gonna throw them under the bus and kick them while they're down and say, trash them. No, I want that company to succeed. I want to find the issues. I want to find a solution to a, the potential problems that might be out there. So yeah, are there problems with evolution weapon system, bulk carrier assembly? 100%, there are problems, but it's good to work through those things. Does that make sense? Even though, yeah, it costs money to get these things. We're not going to get into all of the different stuff. But it's good to help these companies out. Because this is not a Chinese company, right? That's making stuff that we're buying from other places. I'm not sure. I don't know if all the pieces and parts are made in the U.S. You know what I'm saying. Read between the lines what I'm saying. This is an American company by dudes that are trying to make something. So let's not throw them under the bus. Let's work through these systems. If any of you guys have an evolution weapon system, I want to hear about it. That sounded really strange coming out of my mouth like that. But I want to hear, do you have like great reliability with these things? Or are you still on a two-year backlog? Like you're still waiting for your system? Because they're coming. They're coming. Like, yeah, it might take you two years or a year and a half. I've heard some people. Um, but they're coming. And they do exist. It's not a, it's not a shield company. It's, it's, you, it, they do make legitimate parts and pieces. And you do get your orders. It's just going to take a while. Communication, they need to hire somebody for communication, you know, to really be on top of that stuff. But yeah, have some patience, and I know that's hard to ask people to do that, but anyway, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, not just gripes. I'm sure some people will gripe about wait times specifically, um, but not just gripes. If you got one of these, I want to know, does it run for you? How have you actually utilized it? That's what I want to know. All right, that's enough. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, and hopefully catch you in the next video. See ya.